Hello. Those lovely people at the National Science and Engineering Competition have been gathering together head-squeezing science questions, and I have chosen my favourite. It comes from Luke at the Durham Johnston Comprehensive, and it is, can dogs actually understand words? A dog is a man's best friend, apparently. Admittedly, it's a best friend that chews through a man's furniture or defecates on his kitchen floor or headbutts all his mates in the crotch, but a best friend nevertheless. There are many apparently sane people who will come home of an evening and unload all their cares on their four-legged friend and look into those deep eyes and believe that they understand, sympathise even. But how much does the dog actually understand? Well, recent research suggests that a dog can learn up to 160 words. Although words in this case mean things like gestures, such as pointing, and signals, like whistling. But how do they do this? Often it's not what you say, but how you say it. Try this one. Take out your mobile phone and then hunch your shoulders and read all the names in your contact list out in a very low, angry voice to your dog chances are he'll become anxious and back away. Now do the same thing kneeling down so you're at the dog's eye level, relax your shoulders and do it in a cheery voice like that. He'll probably run over and lick your face, just as soon as he's finished licking his ass. This is because the dog uses all its previous experience of your tone and your body language to distinguish between when he's being reprimanded and when he's being praised. And in the case of the latter, he'll probably want a dog biscuit. Some dogs can retain as much information as a parrot or even an ape. And if the owner of a dog uses the same word over and over again to refer to an object or an action, the dog will eventually correlate the two. So the cry of walkies sends him bounding to the door, whereas the cry of bath will send him cowering under the bed. But some dogs are really special. In 2005, German researchers carried out an experiment on a border collie called Rico, who apparently had a vocabulary of 200 words. Ten items familiar to Rico were placed in another room, and he could fetch each one when verbally instructed. And then if an unfamiliar item was added in the other room, he could still fetch that by a process of elimination around 70% of the time. Remarkably, he could also fetch these unfamiliar items in a new test with new objects a month later. What Rico was doing was practicing fast mapping, the ability to remember an object after you've seen it only once. And this put him on a par with a three-year-old child. Except, of course, that a three-year-old child can understand an abstract concept. So to the child, the word crayon could also be associated with a drawing. But to Rico, the word crayon simply meant fetch the crayon and you'll get a pat on the head. Still, good dog. Sadly, not all animals are equal, and certainly not all dogs. Along with Border Collies, the brightest breeds include the German Shepherd, the Poodle and the Golden Retriever. Whilst at the other end of the scale, the runts of the litter are the Chow Chow, the Bulldog, and bottom of the pile, the Afghan Hound. But this is only because those breeds at the top are the newest, and humans have been hardwiring and programming them since they arrived. But let's keep a sense of perspective about this. If your dog's called Fido, and you come home from a bad day at work and say, Fido, I've had a terrible day and I hate my boss, chances are the only word he'll understand is Fido.